Thickly here from Pragmatic Works coming at you with another Azure Everyday video. Today's topic that I'm going to be talking about is Microsoft certifications. Now, what we're going to be actually be talking about are the differences between the types of certifications that you could take as well as how you can kind of prepare for these exams. So first off, I have taken, for example here, I've taken two exams. I have taken the Microsoft Power BI 7778 exam and I have taken the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam. I began studying, studying for some other exams as well, but I just kind of want to walk through some differences first here on those, these types of exams that we have available to us. So first off, the 7778 exam was a lot more technical and uh, administrative, I guess you could say, than the AZ900. The 7778 was a lot of fix this DAX formula, fix this M code, how do you do this in the service, um, you know, what, all, how do you manage all these different types of security levels. That's what kind of the 778 was, uh, but mind you, all, even for the technical stuff, no Azure certification has anything where you actually write anything. If there is a fix this DAX code, it'll have you either multiple choice answer, or it'll be a drag and drop where you can uh, like drag the correct uh, functions to their proper place, uh, so on and so forth. Um, so, and then the AZ900 on the other hand was quite different in that regard. It's pretty much a vocabulary type of exam as best I can explain it. A, the AZ900 was a lot of um, what kind of service would you need for this scenario? Or what does this service do? How do these SLAs affect each other? Uh, because, you know, to know that, you have to know how the SLAs work and what the percentages are for every SLA and everything like that. So they were extremely, extremely different types of exams. And like I said, that's going to be very common theme when you're taking these exams. Uh, make sure you do some research into each exam you plan on taking for your Azure certifications. The layout and structure is going to be quite different on each one of them. Now, for preparing for these exams, there are many, many, many different ways you could do so. The one thing I don't recommend is, is going into an exam like, hey, I use this a bunch. I could probably take this exam. Because I'll tell you what, I've been using Power BI for a long time, and I am considered, I consider, would consider myself at least, a uh, very strong Power BI type of aficionado type of person. And if I didn't study properly for that Power BI exam, it would have tripped me up quite a bit, I'll tell you. So, you know, all the different ways you could study, like I said, there's a plethora of different ways you could study. You can look at uh, Pragmatic Works training. Uh, Pragmatic Works training very much aligns with the structure of uh, the, the 7778 exam. Now, keep in mind with that, um, you know, maybe not every bit and piece of the, the Pragmatic Works training has that, but Devin Knight at Devin Knight SQL, his blog uh, says, you know, which even modules pertain to the stuff on the exam that he took. His blog is a great resource, and there's all kinds of other blogs out there that have good information on uh, different exams and, you know, how the exam structure is going to be. These are the topics that we covered in my exam, so on and so forth. So check out different blogs as well. Uh, Microsoft Official Exam Certification Partner for Study Guides is MeasureUp. I used the measure up to study for the AZ900 exam, was very successful with that. Um, it was a great tool. I think it gave me more information than I needed uh, for the exam, though I'm not complaining. It was nice information to, uh, to catch up on. Uh, Cause you know, I've used Azure quite a bit as well and not nearly as much as Power BI and the vocabulary-esque type of the exam it was, I would have been very, very, very tripped up if I did not actually have a study guide for that. So that's amazing. But yes, that's kind of some tidbits and tips I wanted to give you for Azure certifications. I hope you uh, can succeed on all of your certification endeavors. And make sure to check my blog out. It is backtosql.wordpress.com. As well as follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at backtosql. I post stuff all the time. So tune in there for any kind of uh, Microsoft updates uh, that pertain to the BI stack. Thanks. Nick Lee here. Talk to you later.